In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a case study slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've created a cloud shape where I've uh, typed here the case study. And then I've created some outline of the cloud. And when I click the first step from the strategy, you can add the relevant icon and the detailed text. Then the second comes the analyzing. The third is the researcher. Fourth is data the key and then the support so depending on your requirement you can just change the text the color and the fonts and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, then some features may not be available. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides. Then I'm going to add one uh, cloud. For that, go to insert shapes. And we have got some clouds here. You can see here, if you are not familiar how to create the cloud, then you can just use this also like this. All right. So instead of uh, doing adding the uh, this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the own cloud for that. Go to shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval, draw the oval somewhat big. You can see here is uh, not necessary you need to have a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline okay let me just move this here press ctrl d i'm going to reduce the size a little bit i'm going to put it here again ctrl d if you want you can make it like this again ctrl d you can see here if you want you can make it somewhat smaller and somewhat bigger like this and here i want to just increase the size all right then I want to add one more somewhat bigger here then press ctrl D again okay like this I'm just going to create a cloud and let me just reduce the size and then something like this all right and then what I'm going to do is go to insert or I can just press ctrl D to duplicate and cover this one so something like this i'm just covering this now once this is ready i'm just going to select all go to merge shape and make it union all right and then depending on your requirement hold the shift key either to reduce the size or to increase the size so whichever way you feel better you can do it then fill the color with your choice i'm just going to fill maybe uh, this color can you see here this is kind of a red color and then I want to give some outline for that. Let me just duplicate this one. All right. Shape fill. I'm going to make it no fill and shape outline. I'm going to make it this color, the same color and hold the shift key, increase the size, something like this, and then align center, align middle. So let me just move this so that it should look something like this. All right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut uh, this one uh, I'm, I'm going to give some gap for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this rectangle draw the rectangle and then this is where i'm going to cut this one from here and here some different you know four or five times i'm just going to cut it so like this i want to cut it here Control d I'm going to cut like this and one more here. All right. Now what I'm going to do this year to uh, uh, make some a note here. Let me just first make it no outline for this. Then I'm going to select the outline. Then hold the shift key. I'm going to select these rectangles. All right. The problem with this, let me just tell you why there will be a problem. So go to merge shape and I'm going to subtract. The moment I subtract, it is end up getting a shape something like this, which I don't need that one. All right. Let me just control Z. Now what we need to do is this particular outline, I'm going to copy control C, right mouse click and paste as image. All right. So this is the image. Now I'm going to delete this one and the image which i've copied i'm going to paste it here all right and then go to format send this to back then i'm going to select this image then 
these rectangles go to format merge shape and subtract now you can see here only that part got sub, uh, subtracted all right let me just remove the guides now i'm going to add some arrows so go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this one curve let me just zoom in a little bit so here i'm just going to click click one more time here and make it somewhat curve a little bit curve you can see here and double click here like this shape outline give the same outline right mouse click go to format shape and you can see here the end arrow type i'm going to choose maybe this and you can increase the size this one all right something like this so now depending on the requirement i'm going to add different uh, icons and the options so if you see here i'm going to start with strategy analyzing research data key and support so let me just add the text here okay i'm going to add the text your text if you want you can just type the exact text okay the same color i'm going to give it and then i am going to make it center align and the font i'm going to use as open sans reduce the size a little bit and put it here all right so example here i have got one two three four five six so the same six text i'm going to copy first of all i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d i want to add one text here rotate it a little bit like this press ctrl d so here i want to add one more this side ctrl d you can see here duplicate it rotate it i'm going to add one more here and two more i'm going to add it one here you can rotate it like this and the last one i'm going to put it here all right and then press ctrl d to duplicate you can add your text and here also i'm just adding the text now depending on what text you have added you can go to insert icons and select the relevant icons okay based on your text so i'm just going to randomly select some icons okay randomly i'm just selecting some icons six icons i'm going to select okay you can see here six icons i have selected let me just make the height as 0.7 the height and width i'm going to give the same color the same color here okay sorry press ctrl z graphic fill i'm going to select this one and maybe outline i don't need outline but a little bit the same color no problems now based on the requirement i'm just going to add one by one the icons here wherever you want to place the icon you can see here you can place the icons like this and then below you can add more detailed text to it to add the detailed text go to insert text box i'm going to type some latin text equals to lorem within brackets one and i am going to cut this long text make it somewhat short and the same font i'm going to use which is open sans reduce the font size to maybe 11 and some gray color i'm going to use it and then you can just add wherever possible the text you can just copy and then add it you can see here like this you can add the detailed text and once this is done you can do some basic animation to it and then the last one the main text or the heading you can type it here i'm just going to say case study and center align make it white i'm going to make it open sans make it bold increase the size and that's it all right so here i'm just going to group this both the text uh, and the the cloud and press ctrl g to group it 
and if you want to do some animations we can go to the animations enable the animation pane for this go to add animation more entrance effect just select basic zoom click ok and then I'm going to do this also for this I can add animation maybe more entrance effect I can use a different you can see here split is there or stripes is there or wheel is there so something like this I can do it and this should happen after previous and then each text whichever one for example this is your first one add animation I'm going to make it wipe or I can select wipe from here all right and then this text should appear I'm going to say appear it should happen after previous and then this icon I'm going to make it basic zoom and then this one add animation more entrance effect I'm going to stretch click OK and this should happen from left and again this should all happen after previous all right you can see here now how it happens is if you see here when I click it comes something like this and then you can see here like that now it's very easy for me I can just select this one animation painter click on this and just you change the direction how it how you want then the text I'm going to select this one the icon I'm going to select the icon and then the text like this so if I play it comes something like this so this animation comes so this is for the case study if you want to change the text uh, to suit your requirements you can do it